morning, everyone. Lainey here. Woody and I are going back into Yosemite National Park today, and we are going swimming. We checked out a lot of different options for swimming holes, and there are a couple that we're going to go back to today and check out. We really have been jonesing to get into that good cold mountain water and freeze our tails off. <laughs> so stay tuned for some fun adventures with Woody and I and the dogs in Yosemite National Park. I'll see y'all on the other side of the video. Peace. We're going to try to see if Woody can get down in there in that water. Not quite sure yet. We are still in search of a place that we can take both the dogs and that Woody can get into. We could have gotten in at Mirror Lake with no problem, but there's this big old sign that says no dogs allowed past this point. So we decided to try to find something else. Now we're at Happy Isles and I'm walking the trail to see how close we can get to the water. Look at this beautiful little waterfall I found. It's not a place that we could get in the water, but I wanted to show it to y'all. Isn't that lovely? I'm on a little bridge just a little bit further upstream for where I was a minute ago. So pretty. Look at this gorgeous view. There's the river down there, where I first stopped and gave you a picture, video of it. And here's the view. Stunning. I really just don't see any possible way to access the river for Woody, or even myself at this point. It's pretty treacherous for both of us. But it's so beautiful. We really want to get in the water today, so we're still hunting and searching. Keep your fingers crossed. There is the beautiful El Capitan. And here is the beautiful Merced River. And we are sitting next to the river on a sandy beach. And the dogs are with us. And we're going to go get in the water. Jack is excited because there's other dogs over there. No, Jack, you cannot have the other dogs. But we are going to go get in the water in a minute. We finally found our spot, and it's lovely. Poor Juno. I got her in the river, and she wasn't happy about it. Jackson was visiting the uh, neighbor's camp because they have food, but Juno is now shivering because she's just so fragile. And Jack's been chasing the stick. I got him all the way in the water, but I had to pick him up and carry him out there. He wouldn't even chase the stick all the way out there. That used to work. People in the river and there's a kayaker. <laughs> there's some people over there on the river's edge. Another tuber out there and then further down around the bend. There's some more people. But that's about it. 
Not a very large crowd, but it's a Tuesday afternoon around 3.30, so I wouldn't expect much more than this. There's Nebo. He took a duck in the water earlier, too. Here comes our kayaker. Hey everybody, Lainey here, and I am in the Merced River, and I am right in front of, oh, you can't see it because of the trees, oh my god, I'm going to have to move, El Capitan, you guys need to get out here, you need to get out to Yosemite National Park, look at this gorgeousness, quit living vicariously through me, get your ass in your car and get out here, so says Lainey, look at this water, it's so clear. I'm going to take y'all for a dip. You ready? What'd you think of that? That was pretty cool, huh? As promised, I have moved down the river and look what's behind me, guys. Amazing sight, right? Totally blow your mind. I love this place. Everybody's down here having a great time. There's kayakers. There's people sitting on the beach. There's people in the water, people in the inner tubes. The dogs are having a blast. You will love this place. Hi folks, Lainey here. I am going to walk down this trail behind me and try to get as close as I can to the base of El Capitan. So come along for the walk. Hey y'all, I am completely off trail. The trail was not leading me the direction I wanted to go, so I did what they tell you never to do. <laughs> and I just struck off through the woods. But I'm at the base, or at least as close as I'm going to get today. And it's magnificent. I'll turn the camera around and show you guys what I'm seeing. This is where I am, and this is what I see. It's magnificent and close as I am likely to get. <laughs> Incredible. I can just feel the inspiration from Alex who free soloed and all the other climbers who climb this rock every year. It's amazing. truly amazing. Hey everyone, I am safely back on the trail, never fear. I'm a camper and a hiker from way back, so I knew how to get back to the trail. But anyway, that was quite the hike, so I'm sitting here on a little log uh, piece from a fallen tree and taking a break and taking a breather before I head back to Woody in the van and the dogs. I just cannot express to you how amazing it is to be out here in nature. There's a thing called forest bathing. And I believe it is very true that forest bathing is therapeutic. I'm looking at a woodpecker right now. <laughs> but the concept of forest bathing is something that a friend of mine named Wendy met I met her in Big Bear she's quite an awesome human being and she had sent me a video on forest bathing and the, the concept is that you go out into nature and you walk barefooted and you hug trees and you just embrace the sounds the smells the sights the uh, the feeling the texture and let it just minister to your soul and heal your soul from all the stress and the anxiety and the garbage that we often allow to clog up our spiritual selves because we live in a crazy world especially now you know with the Rona and um, financial stressors on everyone so I recommend it even if you live in a city just go to a park and spend some time bathing in mother nature's goodness and go out into your yard barefooted and dig your feet in the soil or go to a beach and dig your feet in the sand or or something like that because i can i can attest to the fact that being out here in nature smelling 
seeing, experiencing all the different nuances of Mother Nature has been a great healer for my soul. A great, great healer. So I recommend that to you. Peace.